the escort advances in slow time. The band plays escort to the colour. But we have a bit of a logistical problem in the meantime because the bands need to change direction. And this is the moment that lots of you viewers are interested in too. Because when we talk about the spin wheel, what exactly do we mean? Well, we mean a rather bizarre and intricate set of manoeuvres. Which means that the band can effortlessly change direction, Gerald. What on earth is this about? What is going on here, Hugh, is totally baffling to anyone who isn't a musician. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this intricate manoeuvre isn't written down anywhere. The custodian of the secret is a man called the Garrison Sergeant Major of London District. A marvellous man who somehow manages to choreograph this mass of musicians and to achieve an amazing result. And he has certainly my unbounded admiration. As all our admiration. And there's the result for you. Meticulous and perfect. And the bands make their way along to the other end of the parade ground, allowing the escort to move along towards number six guard and to start the trooping of the cup. For centuries, the colours of a regiment were carried into battle and were used as a rallying point for the troops. The Roman eagle was used in a similar way, thrown forward in the fight in the knowledge that the men would follow to save it. So it was necessary for the colours to be easily recognised in the heat of battle. They were trooped through the ranks, in camp, before engagement and eventually each day on campaign and in barracks.